Greetings and salutations. What's going on? It's your boy. We back. Got the Ryan Feminist Karmic Demo. It's a drop. And uh, I'm going to say the union reunion and uh, recognition really for last. Pretty sure I'm going to do a, uh, an infinity read for that one. So stay tuned for it. Um, still working on the strategies. Just give me some time. It's the ball roll on those. They will be out. They're bi weekly. So don't trip. Just had a week off. I think. <laughs> I think. Be back to regular broadcast. Broadcasting in a second. That's crazy. The wine and the masculine and the wine and feminine were in the same position, kicking the sit off. She's here uh, clarifying the bottom line energy. Masculine was here clarifying the bottom line energy for his karmic situation. Just think that's fresh. New deck, new energies, new week. So, first card in this message, feminine, we got the Ace of Swords. That's Ascension. It's going up. What's up? Should know that by now. <laughs> you should. What's up? Alright. On your way up, there's gonna be an outside conflict, which is uh some shit that don't involve you that you can involve yourself in, or some shit that kind of involves you, but this is kind of like not karma, this is kind of like I don't know how to explain it. See, karma happens from some shit you personally do. You know. That's some shit you manifested through actions, you know, through some some feelings and, and thoughts and shit like that. Like it's forthcoming. Karma's forthcoming. Right. I'm not saying if you were I mean, keep it real. Say you're a vegetable, vegetative state, you know what I mean? Paraplegic or some shit like that. Even as a paraplegic, you can still build shit in the universe because you probably got a voice you can speak and still a mind. So you can still do shit even if you couldn't move. Through your words, through your influence, you know what I'm saying? Through your, your, your swords. And cups, really, even if you couldn't move, you can still, you still got your mind and heart, which are crucial things. You can still manifest. You probably can't put no actions in. But you, you know, I'm going all off, <laughs> going all off course and shit. But look, it's going to be some outside conflict, right? If it's your business to handle this shit, handle it. If it's your business to handle it, handle it. But keep the connection of whatever you and this outside conflict is, because I'm saying it's all it goes to the ascension. All ascension really is is you know that A there is for accountability too, divine accountability. That's all ascension is, is the divine accountability. Like this is the world, it's the third dimension, man. We can really lose our pinnacle here. Lose everything here. We can even lose our life here. Like I said, it's a blessing every day it's just to be in attendance of the world. It's a present, you know. If the life is a present, that's why God called it that, the present, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to see outside conflict ascending. We're going to sift through shit. Once again, we're, you know, the world are like zombies in an apocalypse. We're like Rick and the crew. We got to move in order to find substance, in order to fucking survive out here. But aside from that shit, it's the way we move that's going to solidify our integrity and longevity, divinity, and other things on this path. You got Rick and the crew who try to do shit by the book, but they all monsters. But look at the world. <laughs> but look at the world. It's the connection to these things. One connection that Rick and the crew had is they survival is a real motherfucker, but they all good people. Or at least try to be. They're all good people. Or at least try to be. That's why they survive so long. But bottom line of that, line feminine, because you're here. We got the nine of swords. This is stress. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight. Or gaining weight the wrong way. Too many thoughts. Swords. What's the sword? Thoughts, decision, uh, mentality, ideology. Things of that sort. Going back to the uh, Walking Dead analogy. Nine of Swords. The main reason why the Nine of Swords is the Nine of Swords is because you ain't in a self-imposed prison no more. Eight of Swords is a self-imposed prison. That's like having a gate or a wall up against zombies. You can at least sleep at night. Not peacefully, but you can at least sleep good. Right? 
Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta migrate. Like I say, it's all about survival. It's all about finding substance. Wherever the fuck you at, you're gonna have to eventually leave and go somewhere else. That's 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 life. <laughs> but you're gonna find out with this five pinnacle business. We're gonna keep it all walking dead. This looks like a walking dead episode. And that's how I'm gonna keep it. Feminine, you're like Rick. <laughs> we'll just call you Rick. You understand what I'm saying? So Rick, you're the queen of wands. Like you're the queen of actions. The only thing, like a king of wands, in this case, will be, uh, well, I'll break that down in a second if the king of wands come out here. I don't want to spoil nothing in this little mini episode. I love readings like this because I can really take them places. So, Eight of Swords, that was a gate. Hey, we ran out of food. We ran out of water. We ran out of substance. Fine. Divine Feminine, this is your job. What is the Divine Feminine's job? It's the Three of Wands. That's to get us from point A to point C. Point B is just a pit stop to point C, okay? If we make it to point B, that's cool, because getting from point A to point B is a motherfucker. But it ain't just about getting to the next step. We got to get to where we got to get to go. Like, we got to get to where we got to get to, basically. So, feminine, it shows you how to get us to the next place. It's like you look at maps. Okay, it's a nice place over here. All right, so let's take these gates down. Let's build some, you know, weapons, ammo, or whatever shit we need to make this on-foot trip, you know, to this place of substance. Now, the night, the days before, when y'all had the gates, it was cool. It's even better when y'all had substance. Substance is gone. All y'all have is the gates. But them gates ain't gonna, like I say, they ain't gonna keep them out for too long. And like I say, these gates basically gonna be a, a tomb. You know what I mean? If you don't choose to get past this or step out your self-imposed prison. It's like Nine of Swords. We don't have gates no more. You got a gun, but you ain't got a gate. So, wands. The way you move it is going to be different without a gate. Moving differently without gates. <laughs> it's like the right feminine. It's your job to get everybody home. Four wands. What's home? That's a place of substance, a secure place, a HQ, another prison y'all had prior to getting the fuck out and going to a new place of substance. Feminine, it's your job to get everybody home. Your masculine included. Your masculine is included in this camp, but we ain't gonna reveal who he is till he come out. <laughs> now, in the wilderness, like Moses in the, in, the, in the Lost Tribe and shit, it's like you gotta keep your head on a swivel. Okay? And you got a job to do. We talking about actions. These ain't regular actions. These is divine actions. We the wands. And what's the four wands outside the analogy? It's twin flame union, reunion, and recognition. Five of Pentacles, feminine. You personally come into your karmic situation with a five of Pentacles. This is a dark night of the soul. Asked out Pentacles on low mode. It's just some shit that happened to where it just took your life, which is the Eight of Pentacles, down Three Pentacles. What's Three Pentacles? Those are bridges. <laughs> you need a bridge. Bridges where trade and commerce is built. You can't really, you know, burn bridges. They're going to come valuable once you get more Pentacles. All you're doing is just maintaining that bridge. Bridge could be taxes on your company. I mean, property, just taxes on your house and shit like as long as you got that taken care of, we at least good. We're going to go without a few things, but that's living. Minorities know all about that shit. <laughs> now, upon entering this dark night of the soul, if you ain't in it already, we got the four swords. This is an idle mind. It's too much rest and relaxation. I mean, lost a few things. Kind of, you got too much time on your hands. It ain't your fault, but you're going to have to really manipulate that time. You know what I'm saying? Because you're really on a quest to really come up on two pinnacles. You're at the dark night of the soul. That's a 50%. That's an F. Where do you need to get to? At least passing. What's passing? 70%. Five pinnacles plus two pinnacles. That's 70%. That's a C. Because when I seen the seven pinnacles out here, I guess I did. <laughs> so it's time for you to get out your head and do what you need to do. Here you are. Here's what you bring it to the table. It's time to win. <laughs> Took an L and it's like you gotta get your shit back. It ain't like super desperate measures. You can you're good, 
in your situation, but like I said, it's a five of pentacles. You got to get back to that that homeostasis. For some twins, I mean, for some divine feminists, pentacle wise, it's like it's a lot going on right now. You know what I'm saying? It's been like a huge shift in like pentacles and places and people and things in your life. You know what I mean? It's moving at an alarming rate to where it's really got you in your head. But one thing you got to at least acknowledge is that you always going to have something to bring to the table. Even if you have nothing. The karma to that is the Seven of Cups. Pimp Cup Chronicles is something in you, feminine, that's very valuable. That needs to come out. Something inside of you, feminine, that's very valuable, that needs to come out. Six of Cups, what's that? That's your style, that's your steez, that's your sauce, that's your essence, that's your personality, that's what makes you you. We learned that in the last reading with the Divine Masculine. It's a step past being saucy. And that's shit, being all that in a bag of chips. Everybody's saucy, meaning everybody's all that. Everybody's all that, meaning everybody is equal. We all started at the same starting line. We are all God's children. But hey, we gotta be more than that. That's how we stand out. We try to get closer to God. We ain't just trying to stay at the same place God put us at. <laughs> no, we need to come to him. <laughs> come to me. <laughs> we gotta go with God at. Where's God at? That's up. What's going up? Up. Everything goes up. Not just you financially, but it's like the things that's inside you. Like, LL Ascension. This shit was in my heart. And I wanted to give to y'all. You know what I mean? My journey, my twin flame demo, shit that's on my heart. What are cups? Emotions and feelings. What are emotions and feelings? Just mental indicators on, on the direction I'm going in. Hopefully you can learn. Hopefully you learn. <laughs> Clarify the seven of cups being all that in a bag of chips. You got to know you the shit. Otherwise, ain't nobody else going to think you the shit. You got to be on your business in order for people to think you on business, period. Knight of Pentacles. This is grooming. Part of getting this out of you is going to take grooming. You need to be a better singer. Get a vocal coach. You feel like you can be an actor. Get an acting coach. Why? To bring this shit out. Perfect your craft. But in order to be the master, motherfucker, you got to be the student. Perfect your craft, but aside from perfect your craft, it looks like you need mentorship. Or you need to mentor somebody. I said somebody needs you, but we got the Knight of Wands here, which is moving fast and furiously towards your divine direction. That shit looking dead at this whole grooming process. So it looks like it's going to be your job to either groom somebody to help bring something out of them, or you need grooming yourself to get something brought out of you. Grooming usually takes two pinnacles. <laughs> like, you was good by yourself because you got something to bring to the table. But maybe you need something else. So when you put that something else inside of what you already bring it to the table, it's just going to get you to a higher height or another level. Uh, feminine, you personally, in regards to yourself, we got the five of cups. Aside from kicking this shit off personally with the dark night of the soul, which is basically physical isolation, or you just at a 50% of life. We got the Five of Cups, which is basically emotional isolation, or the loneliness card. Akon, Mr. Lonely, Mario Wayne's, and I don't want to know video in the tub and shit with his clothes on and shit. No, this is uh, Love Lockdown. Okay, hey, what if, you know, it's just a very isolated emotional energy you're going through. Damn, we got another five. <laughs> All the fives are out here. So, God, I can't not lose this. So, we'll do something I ain't never done before. I do want to. <laughs> do want to get this message out. And I'm probably going to throw my whole message out doing it. Just testing myself. But I do want to make a valid point. Real quick. We have all the fives out here. And I just want to break this down a little So I put the spaces to where I can remember where to put the cards at so I don't, you know, fuck it up. Okay, Pinnacle. I need something red right here. Uh, I got these in my hand, and where the fuck were these? These were here. And da -da -da. I do need something to put up here. Put the, the, the blunt up here. 
So, pause. Hello, the Ascension um, breakdown. We got all fives out here. It's going to be my new shit. Head, swords, shoulders, cups, knees, wands, toes, pinnacles. I'll break down the fives real quick in the LLE Ascension deck. Fives, in my personal opinion, are all about outside conflict. Sevens, remember we broke down the sevens one of these readings back. Not too far. I think the last two readings some shit like that. I broke down all the sevens, how the sevens are all about internal shit. Fives, all about external shit. First thing you learn about external shit is five of swords. Focus. What's focus? Exactly what it is. Self-explanatory. What the fuck you focusing on? You are what you think about. I told you this is your sword. Everything starts here. It's what you focusing on. It's what you looking at. It's what you buying into. It's what's getting most of your focus. This gets, if it's got your mind, it's got you. And if it's got your mind, it's got too. Until you get that shit back. It all starts in the head. What's the five of swords anyway? That's being out your head. Four of swords is in your head. What's, the, what's being in your head? It's being idle minded. What's the idle mind? It's the devil's workshop. It's cool to be in your head to rest and relax and shit, but you don't want to be in your head too long. You out your head. This is cocking back a bow or a gun. Once you cock back a bow or a gun, nigga, you focused. If you focusing, you're obviously doing something. Speaking of doing shit. Next card in the stage, we got the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the loneliness card. Emotional isolation. But the way I take the Five of Cups always is just you being in a class by yourself. If you're a Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, all the Five of Cups is you being in a class by yourself. That's it, that's all. You're like a nine-year-old kid that's a high school senior. You know what I mean? It sucks. I mean, it's all it deals with emotions. I mean, cups. What are cups? Emotions and feelings. All emotions and feelings are just mental indicators on where you're going in life. Thus, going back to the five of swords. <laughs> Once you understand this whole loneliness feeling, you'll really understand focus a little bit more. And we'll, I'll tell you why once we get to the next step. So, cups. Yeah, you feel lonely, but you're not. All you are is just ace of cupping, self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-admiration, taking care of yourself in the world. Four of cups, that's the world. Five of cups, that's past the world. You got to get past the world to really know what loneliness actually is. And I told you, all loneliness is is just being in a class by yourself like a nine-year-old high school senior. You're different. You can't kick it with everybody. You ain't, I mean, you will. You a, you a child. You ain't no motherfucking teenager. You when you get to college, it's still going to be the same shit. But when you do become grown, 10 years from now, 9 years from now, God, <laughs> you're going to be something remarkable. But you got to understand why you are who you are. Why your life is the way it is. Despite how you feel. Despite how alone you feel you are. That's just how you feel. You ain't alone. God is with you. Your divine is with you. That's your kids. You got your family. There's people around Hear me? All feelings. We got wants. Knees. Action. What are wants? Behavior, action, shit you doing, shit you done, not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Five of wands, what's that? That's outside conflict. Shit that don't involve you, but you can involve yourself in it if you want to, but why? Like, why? <laughs> what's the point of that? And it's just. Going back to the reading, too. Back to the reading. <laughs> it's like, you and regards to yourself, feminine, you got outside conflict that you're going to have to go through. If this is hate, let them hate. That hate shouldn't have shit to do with you. Sticks and stones can break your bones, but words should never hurt you. If you let other people's words affect you, then obviously you got some shit in here, cups, that you need to fix. Make sure you get your cups fixed first. Before you start doing shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got thick skin. You got to know what you're getting into. All that shit. But you learn about doing and you're doing some actions. This is also life outside home. It's safe at home. It ain't safe outside of home. You can trust the people in your home. Or you should. It, 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 outside is different. Different laws that apply outside your home than it does at the four wands. Which is your home. What's home? That's heaven. That's Zion. That's where God at. You know what I mean? That's a whole other realm. Once you... Put your kid in the door and you get in your crib and you can chill. You in heaven. If you ain't figured that shit out yet. 
Your home should be heaven to you, even if it's an apartment, even if it's just a fucking room or whatever the fuck you work it with, whatever you call it home. Well, why is this home? What's home? That's what a what a heart is, man. Home is also where the hate is, where some of the greatest become greater, but at the same time, you gotta know what you're up against in the world. You gotta know your playing field. You can't just be out here moving actions, just doing shit with no type of feelings or emotions towards what you're doing. Otherwise, you will be a zombie, thus a karmic in this whole walking dead shit. Fair find this five of wands, we got the five of pentacles. Like I say, this is like I say, you're just going without shit. This is just the dark night of the soul. Everybody goes without things. The next card after this, which is the karma that you in regards yourself, you got the four of pentacles. Some of you was holding on too tight to that you knew you had to let go. This is whatever you was holding on too tight to being gone. Like I said, <laughs> going back to the zombie story. It was an outside conflict. Hey. We finna be outside of home, or we gotta go outside of our home, or at least find a home, because we really don't have one. What we call a home is being outrun by zombies right now, and we really have no choice. We really have nothing. We're fucked up out here. So, you know, y'all chose to leave. You could have stayed there, fought, held on. Hey, y'all would have fucking perished, but deep down, you knew what you had to do. Because here go your karma. Had you held on, had you tried to do a, a final stand with the zombies, you would have perished. And it's like you foreseeing that. You foreseeing the choice that you made to sever the pentacle, move the fuck around, Riri. And it looks like you dodged a bullet. So even this five of pentacle you win, really was a dark night of the soul because it's like you missed the dark night of the soul by kind of being in the dark night of the soul, if that makes any fucking sense. You know, it's like... The same. I don't know how to explain it. It's like your wife tell you to stay out of, out the bar. Don't go to the bar tonight. You go to the bar, you get drunk, st stupid drunk, to where you end up in jail. But you wake up in jail in a bullpen with a fucking celebrity, and it just so happened you and the celebrity hit it off to a point where it's like y'all both get out and celebrity like bonds you out and it, it takes you home. Like, yo, I really need you to help explain to my wife what the fuck happened last night. She told me not to go to the bar. And I know she wouldn't believe me. If this wouldn't happen, this is fucking even crazy that I even got locked up with you, bro. You'll do me a big slide by taking me home. My wife loves you anyway. Fuck. <laughs> Man, can you hook me up? You know what I'm saying? It's like... Wife told his ass to hold on on the drinking. He couldn't hold on. <laughs> and it's like a lot of shit happened. You know what I mean? R E R E, seven of pentacles. That's realizing some shit, reversing some shit, relocating. You know what I mean? Reevaluating, reconnecting something, just realizing something like the reality of the situation. Like at the end of the day, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, everything happens to plan. Like God don't make mistakes, and you don't make mistakes. Even when you make a mistake, it's perfect. Just like God does that. God does that. God don't make mistakes, but God does bad things. The old definition of bad, and what I'm, you know, it, I don't know how to explain it. God is not no wrathful, vengeful God, but he will jab smack your ass, you know what I'm saying? He will rain fire and brimstone down on your bitch ass, for sure, for sure. <laughs> he will put the flu flux on you, we've seen that over time. God is definitely not a stranger to cleansing shit, to, you know what I'm saying? Let it be known. I don't understand to say this. You made a few mistakes, feminine, but as you're seeing, even your mistakes are starting to help you <laughs> later in your trial and tribulation. You in regards to the masculine or masculines in your life, we got the Ten of Wands. This is pumping the brakes on a few people, on a few places, on a few things. More smoke. Got the Ten, I mean, excuse me, the Nine of Cups. Got to pick another card. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you in regards to the masculine energy, feminine, you got the ten of wands. Something you're gonna have to temporarily end. 
It's dealing with a person and it's actions. Whatever this is, this is behavior or actions. This is something you're doing that you need to stop. Why? It's going to be a dream come true or a wish granted that's going to happen or a miracle that's going to happen. Your mask going to have this. You have this. You have this too. It's like, y'all really in the same position to get the same thing. Like I said, I don't know, two weeks ago, seems like y'all been doing this shit and it's been consistent. So, you had a dream come true, just like the masculine did. You had a wish granted, just like the masculine did. This was an energy. It's something you really felt on a high frequency. And God seen that, and he's going to make this shit happen. You ain't even going to see it coming. Like I said, you're going to be in the middle of something, and then, skirt, you have to pump your brakes. <laughs> it's like, like I said, you a kid, and whatever Christmas toy you wanted for Christmas, that you've been reminding your mom to buy that you know you probably ain't getting because you know y'all ain't got money like that. It's like you riding your bicycle home and you see whatever the fuck that it was you wanted for Christmas sitting in the middle of the sidewalk in your way. Brand new. Depending on what kind of kid you are. Me? I'm a Leo. So I'm like Predator Terminator mode pulling up to the motherfucking present with my bike. I'm going to automatically slow down just to peep shit out. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably just gonna pull it right to that bitch. <laughs> Be up, you know what I'm saying? Up with the quickness, you know what I'm saying? Especially if ain't nobody there and whatever. Maybe that was my blessing. Maybe it was somebody else's blessing, but hey, sometimes you gotta pump the brakes. Get yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, a person at a slot machine. They standing over it. You know? Getting money to pull out and shit. And like they're standing over the slot machine, but you've been looking at them and it's like you on the bike looking at the prize. You've been peeping and it's like they take it too long. You know what? Like, I already got my shit. You just put your shit in there and you just press the button. You only had like, I don't know, 60 cent on that bitch. You just put it in there, pressed it on your way walking back. Ling, 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 ling. You win. They mad. That was supposed to be mine. Ooh, it's like, nah, you ain't put your money in, player. That's not how the game go. <laughs> no, you stole my chance. I'm sure that happened many times, but guess what? <laughs> it's like my name is on there. I mean, not name is on tickets. The name could be on the card he might have had in there. But that's his win, baby. <laughs> Collect that cash and you take your ass on to where the fuck you need to go. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. <sighs> Feminine, the karma, and all that. We got the Queen of Cups. This is a psychic card. This is dreams, fantasies, visions, signs, synchronicities, writings on the wall. It's a psychic card. What's a psychic card? It's trusting your own intuition. Oh shit, Dr. Rangita just put up a uh, reading. I'm about to check that out. I ain't check Dr. Rangita out in a minute. At any rate, um, psychic card. My deck, this is uh, X Men. You know what I mean? It's like. Every divine has a power, whether you know it's there or not, whether you using it or not, whether you hiding it or not. Every divine has a power. It's shit you feel inside, you know. The step past the Queen of Cups is the King of Cups. It's 1950s, 1960s dad, uh, tough love card. Queen of Cups, this is perfecting your craft, embodying your power, your gift, you know. Took years to really perfect my craft, so by the time I kind of came online, I've been like learning as I go, but I was well prepared before I came to the show. You know what I'm saying? So I came to the situation with the Queen of the Cup mode. Like really, you see how I was when I first came in and shit. I was showing y'all the cards and shit. I was breaking it down and not slapping the table and shit, not smoking in front of y'all, not cussing and shit. Yeah? <laughs> I still got the same passion. The only thing changed is just my feelings over time. I've been doing this shit for four years. Well, three years. Coming up on your... It'd be LLE season four, January 2nd. Man. Ha! <laughs> we get this help. King of Cups. That's where I'm at with it. I'm on 1950s, 1960s dad with this whole shit. You know, that's why I seem very preachy. And I'd rather be preachy than play with y'all. I'd rather be preachy than play with y'all. Clarifying all that is the two of swords. 
since day one. This is all the ascension has been about. We either going up where God at, because that's what's up, or we distracted from going up, or we ain't ready to go up, or we ain't prepared to go up. We know which way to go at the end of the day. There ain't no right and wrong. There's only one right way at the end, at the end of the day. Only one right way. That's up. It's no confusion when you ascending. Why? Because you ascending. So even if you fall from grace, it ain't like you can't go back up. It ain't like you ain't been back up. So whatever these options are, whatever this shit be to keep people from non-ascending, number one, it's all mental at the end of the day. And number two, it just shows a lot where you at mentally with life. Either in or out. <laughs> I'm so in. I got a client of mine. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of clients that just ain't feeling this to flame shit. And that's cool. Like, I I fully understand. You know, which I ain't finna do is just, like disrespect this shit. She's, you know, she should, she out of all people should know I don't fucking play about this divine anything. I don't play about my twin flame shit. I don't play my personal opinion like a twin flame guru and shit, man. I'm the divine feminine. I'm the trinity, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this is my livelihood at this point. It's my livelihood at this point. So, like, it's a joke to people. God is a joke to people, but I, I'll be the same way about God. Niggas disrespect God. I'll be on that. I'll be like, be on that bullshit with you. Like, yo, that's fucked up, but all right. Uh, this, this is just a joke. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could be about race. Oh, that shit was funny. All right. Like I said, it's just certain lines I don't cross. And the line, the other side of that line that I don't be crossing is anything outside divine. She like, uh, you know, I mean, say that. And all that. I'm like, yo, don't trip. Because at the end of the day, like, she doesn't identify herself as divine most of the time. And I told her, you're not the holiest of holiest of people that I know and hang with, but I fuck with her strong. Like, if anything, she's been very instrumental in my life, being whoever she's trying to figure herself out to be. And I meet a lot of people like this, clients like this. Like, y'all still ain't figured out y'all masculine, feminine. I'm annoying y'all for a minute. And it's been like, you know, it's like a blur. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, it's normal. Everything that's going on with y'all, that shit normal. I, I can sympathize and understand. But like I say, please don't diss this shit though. Don't 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 make a mockery of this. They mock God. Don't mock this. Let's keep can, can we have something to ride in the world? That's all I'm saying. Moving on to the future final role. Feminine. <sighs> going to the future, you got the six of swords. Shit is gonna click. This shit happened with the mask and totally different deck. Hey, shit is gonna start clicking. Make sure you click with it. Doors are gonna open. Make sure you take advantage of them doors that's open. <laughs> it's the whole masculine uh like, so many, y'all gonna do the same energy. I'm gonna just wrap this up. Cause I'm babbling, I need to eat. <laughs> Ancient all day, and drinking coffee. Closing your reading out feminine and your conscious energy, conscious, oh my God, conscious energy going into the future. You have the Six of Swords, which is rolling with the homies. Who is the homie that's usually your divine master? You and your divine master gonna start gelling. If it ain't that, doors are gonna open, shit gonna start clicking, enjoy the ride. Karma to this enjoying the ride shit, we got wins. Six of Wands, it's wins, victory, celebrations. Six of Wands is a sword. Six of Wands are wands. Like, this is mental, these are actions. Six is, in my personal opinion, are all about progression. Fives are about outside shit. Sevens are about internal shit. You know, sixes are all about progression. What I mean by progression, look at this fucking space. That's what sixes do. Like, it's a clear path for takeoff. Like, no matter what six you put in here, you put all the sixes here, this is going to be progression. Progression. <laughs> like... Nine of Swords, what's that? That's stress, right? Too many thoughts, right? Like, your mind is cluttered. Swords, your mind is like cluttered. Six of Swords, you can think. <laughs> ain't shit in your way. It ain't that many swords, you know? Something good. 
Like, I don't know. Like I say, it's like, well, shit, click, click with it. This is not a mental struggle here. This is like sense that, I don't know. It's like you walk in and you see a fucking spiritual sign that says, hey, go through this door. Shit, the scores. Okay, don't miss a beat. You're going to be like, oh, okay, let me go over here. <laughs> like, that's what the sword is. You're just going. But with the flow, it's all mental and shit. Aside from that, karma. You're going to win from doing that. In order for you to get this win or this victory that's here for you, you got to actually get here. And all the Six of Swords is just directing you mentally, consciously, directly, to indirectly where you need to be. These wins, victories, and celebrations. You're going to get these just from bringing yourself to this platform. Real shit. It's like, I don't know, man. You got a carnival. Like a circus or some shit. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know. You just walking around, coming out the bathroom or something. And a person calls you up. It's like my uncle. I'm using my uncle as an example. Don Calhoun. It's my uncle. He's a million dollar man. I think like in 1993, 1994, halftime of a Bulls game, you know what I'm saying? He's the guy that, with one hand, took a basketball, threw that shit from one end of the court, switched that bitch through the other end, and he became a million dollar man. He, you know, he hit it. <laughs> and it was because of the shoes he was wearing. He had some gold boots and a chick that was looking for participants. Just happened to see my uncle. It was a swag. It's Steve's. I mean, it's family shit. It's in our jeans. <laughs> uncle was just, and he was like, like I say, uncle. It wasn't like he was clean that day. He had some jeans and a regular ass t-shirt and it was just the shoes. Something about the shoes. He was a regular guy, but it was something about his shoes. Made her pick him. And it was quick. They gave him the ball. He didn't even think twice. He just picked it up, launched that bitch, and look it up. He switched that motherfucker. Man, that's how life be sometimes. Imagine if my uncle would have said, nah, I'm cool. Or Imagine she would have picked somebody else. I'm sure they would have missed it. <laughs> sure they would have missed that shot. But given who my uncle was, given where he was just at, sometimes that's how blessings happen just like that. Sometimes you got to react. Hey, hey, you. Hey, I need you to solve here. Come here real quick. So, okay. Feminine. You getting pulled towards the direction. Make sure you go there. All right. That's the message I got. I hope I can be a good use. It's your boy, D-Boom. Deuces.